worst couples ever. What's going on guys, Shaq Clips here once again, and this is some mod clips of the craziest couples I can find. But this first one guys, it is absolutely ridiculous, and I can't believe this woman decided to say this all over Instagram live. Like, she has no embarrassment, and to be honest, to an extent, this should be illegal. You should be able to press charges on things like this. But this woman is pretty much happy to share that the guy she's talking to on, on Instagram live, that she pretty much gave him a disease, and she's literally laughing it off. How disgusting can you be? It's no opportunity to, to, to keep it real. I'm keeping it real, they already know I gave I told you when I got mad, I wanted to give you clem again. I already told you that. You didn't give me shit. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. I definitely burnt you, but it's okay. No, you did not. It's okay. That was my payback for all the years of trauma. I just finally got my payback and burnt you, so. Uh, okay, and what about, what about the trauma your mama put you through? Oh, I, 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 I dog her too. Don't worry about uh, it. Don't worry about it. My mama gets dealt with around here. My mama gets dealt with. My mama gets dealt with. You know what about what 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 about the what? What, what about the what? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I was gonna say, what about the trauma? And this is next one, we have this woman who's once again right, expecting too much. At this point, she expects men not to just pay for her because she's an independent woman. She needs them to cook and clean for her as well. Where is the limit here? Like, why do relationships have to be like this? You can't be a partnership where you guys both do things together. It has to be like a give and get type of deal. It is extremely important to a man's ego to know that he's able to take care of his woman, which is fine until you come across a woman who's independent. Now, here's the real question. Are you able to still provide without providing financially? Most men are so lazy to offer for you anything else that they rather just pay your bills what so when that's off the table what am i depending on you for because it's not financial so can you support me to be a better woman can you learn to cook for me can you clean and this next one i honestly hear a lot of things about red flags about women but this one definitely was correct i'm happy he actually spoke up on this what are your biggest red flags in women oh god i can do this all day long if the girl's not willing to hang out with you on a friday or saturday or sunday you ain't the guy okay oh if she's not texting you and calling you and wanting to spend time with you you ain't the guy. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. And this next one actually shows a double standard about how when a man harasses a woman and when a woman harasses a man. Obviously, when a woman harasses a man, nobody cares. It's looked at as cute and funny. But when a man does it, obviously the world flips out. But to be honest, guys, we shouldn't make this a big deal. A man is much stronger than a woman. So of course, this is the expected reaction. I'm not really surprised. And this next one, this woman really tried to hide the fact that she ruined her marriage herself by saying that her man cheated on her, when in reality, she literally ruined it. She's saying she got married super early, I guess at 18, and got divorced at 20. But listening to her reasoning about how it ended, and she immediately tried to hide, like, little details, like, she's literally trying to fool no one here. This is your fault. I'm divorced. <laughs> oh, wait, you're 20, though. Yeah, I got married at 18. Divorce? Okay, yeah. did you initiate the divorce, yeah. or did I, he? Um, no, I, like, moved out to, like, take time for myself, and then, um... Yeah, he went to Vegas and like went and parties and like cheated on me. You said that you needed some space? Yeah, I just like was like suffering, not suffering, but like going through a lot of stuff. So I was like, you know, like I need like a mental like break kind of thing. Just because we had been together for so long, I feel like I just like kind of like needed to find myself kind of thing. So just to kind of <laughs> get a better sense of things, you initiated the conversation about, hey, we should have some yeah. space. You moved out of the house. Mm -hmm. then he literally helped me move out, did not come to my new apartment, didn't visit me, like nothing after I moved out, like completely ignored me. And then, um... You did say you need some space. I know, I know. And this is next one. I'm happy this man decided to share details about this, about how the stereotype and just the double standard on men dating is just absolutely ridiculous. I know a lot of people talk about this, but this just isn't spoken about enough. What's something you'll get a lot of hate for if you say it out loud? If a woman doesn't want a bigger guy, it's considered having standards. But if a guy doesn't want a bigger woman, it's called being shallow. If a guy doesn't make a hundred thousand dollars a year, he's considered a bum. But if a woman has to live off of child support, she's just a hardworking woman trying to make it. Whenever a guy talks to a woman, if he's ugly, it's considered harassment. If he's handsome, it's considered flirting. A guy has to accept a woman for how she is, but has to completely change for the woman that he wants. And finally, a woman doesn't want a man who's established with her life. 
She wants a man that she has to fix. And this next one, this man is absolutely stupid. I thought this was gonna go completely a different way, but it still ended up pretty badly. This next one I actually had to add this clip. And this next one I really do hope it's a skit. I'm not sure why someone does this, but it's absolutely embarrassing and super cringy. Hey mom, told you I wasn't lying. I'm here with my new girlfriend. Um, we're about to kiss now. Asking people why they work out. Excuse me, why do you work out? So I don't off. Okay. In this next one, these women are absolutely stupid for saying this on the internet. It's one thing to do these behind closed doors, but it's another thing to actually say it proudly online. Like, does someone have to tell you that this is bad to say? Give me a confession. I've made out with a 65-year-old. I stole a teddy bear from a grocery store. And this next one, I just had to add this clip in as well. Basically, we have this woman here. I guess she gets kicked off this airplane. Now, I'm not sure why when people get kicked off the airplane, they decide to make a bigger commotion more than usual. Just get off the plane. I guess she was causing too much commotion, being absolutely racist, and just yelling overall, causing disturbance, and ended up even getting into arguments with all the passengers inside the plane. <laughs> And this next one, thankfully, this girl didn't notice this, but this proposal went horribly wrong. I think his pants ripped. to learn how to walk away and cut a chick off because if you don't you're gonna be the fool you're gonna be the one that's left the dried up husk because when she's done what you believe she'll walk away but here's the thing guys when you learn to walk away from a woman you're in a position of power and this next one, we have this woman here who pretty much describes how women don't know how to attract men and they actually aim for the wrong things like bbls and just surgeries men don't care about bbls at least if they're trying to look for a wife that is because no one wife's that kind of thing but let me just start off like, oh wait, let me just start off with this. One, women think they have a lot more options of men than they really do. This new world of the BBL and the plastic surgery and I woke up a bitch now and or oh, I'm getting a new bag so I'm able to buy the diamonds and the cars and everything that's going to attract the man that I think I want, right? But I, what I think is that women don't know the difference between a man wanting themselves and wanting them romantic. Now, for the worst clip on the list, guys, this is actually heartbreaking. This guy pretty much just saw his girlfriend kiss another guy right in front of her, and he doesn't care, and he actually does this at the end of the clip. Is he too drunk or something? I'm not sure what's going on here. This man needs to put his foot down to be a man and not get stepped on by other dudes. This is disgusting. <laughs> Well, that does it for you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.